Hi everybody, it's Erica here at Discount Fabric Warehouse and I'm going to show you how to do piping on a serger. So the first thing that you need is to get your cording foot. This one is a 5 millimeter cording and as you can see on the bottom of the foot, it has this nice channel here where your piping is going to fit through and it's going to hold it in place. Okay. So on your serger, you're going to lift up your presser foot and in the back of the foot, you're going to push the button that will snap the foot off. Then you're going to take this foot and you just kind of slide it in where it needs to go here right over the bar there and you just lower the foot down okay now there's two ways of doing piping one is where you actually make the piping and then attach it to your fabric or you can just attach it all at one time so i'm going to show you both ways this way if you take and put your piping in the easiest way is to just kind of put it in like this and get it right underneath that groove on channel of the foot then you can take and so you have to have a little bit longer um, uh, piping than you do your fabric okay and you're going to just take your fabric and you're going to pinch it right over the top of that here and you're just going to slide that all the way forward put your presser foot down okay and the key to doing a good piping is to hold this nice and tight okay so what you're going to do is you're just going to hold this and we're going to pull it like this and you can kind of see i'm just pushing down on it right here and as you can see, it's just staying in the groove. The piping is staying in the groove and you can see it as it's coming out of the back of the machine here, how perfect that piping is coming out, okay? So you just basically continue that all the way down your strip or however much you're going to do. And you can do this on a bias or not a bias. It's up to you how you wanna do your piping. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it there because that's where the edge of my piping is and finish that off. And then we can add it to our fabric now okay okay so now you're gonna take your fabric that you want to put your piping in and you're gonna just do right sides together so you're gonna put your piping in here like this and you're gonna put the other piece of fabric here so you're just basically attaching the edges together and if you feel like you can just sew it go ahead otherwise you can pin here and you can that will help hold all of the layers together for you now it is important if you ever use pins next to your serger that you wanna make sure that you do not sew over them or cut over them because you will damage your knife blade over here, okay? So now that we've kind of pinned it, now you can just kind of line it up and you just put your fabric in here and the piping again is gonna just stay right in the groove there. So now you can just stitch this down and just sew all the way down here. Again, removing that pin as you get there. Okay, and if you have to realign, just go ahead and realign your fabric here. And as you can see, it's really easy because it just stays right in the groove there. And so when we open that up, look how awesome that is. Beautiful piping. Okay, now if you wanna do it where you're just doing it in one step, it is a little bit trickier, but basically you're doing it all at the same time. You're gonna fold the piping around just like we did before, and you're also going to attach the fabric at the same time. So if you just kind of get it started, so you're gonna hold all your pieces just like this, okay? And then what I like to do to get it started, again, if you just kind of pull the piping out a little bit, then you can kind of get it right in the channel there, okay? And then as you're doing this, it's going to cut off your fabric, but then you have to keep readjusting your piping. So make sure you grab your piping and pull it tight, just like you were before. But as you can see, we can do it all in one step, all at the same time. And it, to me, that saves you a lot of time. So if you feel like you can do it, okay, so again, readjusting. It's important. That's probably the most important step for you. Show you what this one looks like. Okay, we're gonna open that up and look at that. Same as before, just in one step. Pretty cool, huh?